Well, what's up, everyone? This is Ashari229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we got spotted. Oh, crap. I don't want to go to jail. No! Uh, no, we're not the ones who've been caught. This episode, we're going to find out exactly who the spy they caught is. In front of the elevator. What elevator? I don't see an elevator. Oh, wait. I'm smart! Silva! Do you ever not get in trouble? Silva, what did you do this time? In fact, how did you even get here in the first place? Silva! Silva! Why can we not talk to you? There you go. And he gives us an R disc. We've gotten an F disc before. But now we have an R disc. Now what exactly are these discs useful for? Well, here. They're UFO discs. So we have an F disc and an R disc. The F disc that we got from Dakim will send this little contraption forward. So, what is there to do on this side? Well, there's an old man who speaks gibberish. Here's an herb shop, which you can get recovery items for Pokemon that they can actually hold and use. But they will not like you as much. Over here, we have a Colosseum, a healing station, an elevator out. This is actually a way out of the under. So if you need to leave, and you come back, you'll be right here at the Coliseum. We have stairs, which won't lead us to anywhere. So, now we can use the R disc to head on over to the right. But, we saw that there were some Cypher Peons guarding Silva Cell. Uh, I can only see one of them, so... Why not challenge her? There we go. So, Cloak is going to challenge us. He's gonna send out a Lady Anne and a Volbeat. I don't believe she has any Shadow Pokemon. If she does, then this was a really good idea. Oh my god, that was a really good idea. Uh, Lady Anne, okay. Um, let's see, Mischievous T-Bug. Let's go with Psybeam on Volpeed. Ampharos, Thunder Wave, Lady Anne. Damn it! Ugh. Whatever, maybe we can t Really? Really? Oh god! This battle's going off quite well, wouldn't you think? Ugh. Okay, um, Mischievous. Try Shadow Ball on Lady Anne. Ampharos, Thunderbolt, Volby. Good. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good hit. God dang it. Oh, not on Ampharos! No! Ugh. No. Don't hurt yourself, Ampharos. Yes! Good girl. Okay, Volbeat's almost down. Um. Second verse, same as the first. No! God dang it! I said second verse, same as the first! You weren't supposed to confuse Mischievous! Yes! Whew. I really 
you're lucky now. It's oh jeez, no! <laughs> oh, that was too close. Way too close for comfort. I'm surprised that my Pokemon have not hurt themselves yet. I've been successful in my attacks three out of three times. I am shocked. And our last Pokemon, Spinarak. Okay, Mischievous, Psybeam on Spinarak. And for us, let's catch Lady Anne. Oh, by the way, I got out and bought more Pokeballs before I faced off against Dakim. I think I got a few more Great Balls. I got a lot more Ultra Balls, and I actually bought some Timer Balls. There's actually three specialty types of Pokeballs that you can get. Um, after Mirror B, actually. Timer Balls, Net Balls, and... I forget what the last ones are. But, he has three special types, and he also sells Ultra Balls now, so... Very good. So let's use one of those Ultra Balls now. Okay... Let's go. I can't paralyze you yet. So I'm gonna take my chances. One. Two. Three. Yes! Alright! Four for four successful attack. And there goes the battle, too! Nice! Okay, so that was a very good battle, and we caught ourselves another Shadow Pokemon. Heck yeah. Oh, okay, well there's her partner. Dogger. Huh, it's like Dagger. Okay, so she's gonna send out an Ariados and an Illumise. Okay, so let's go Mischievous and Ampharos. Let's have the same luck we had last time. Okay, uh, Mischievous, you take down Ariados, Ampharos, Illumise. Let's see how well this works out. That worked out somewhat nicely. This is going to hurt. Okay, nothing a regular potion can't fix. Oh, wow! Ampharos doing better than Mischievous. And Nightshade. Nightshade does... It does damage equivalent to the user's level, so Ampharos just took 38 damage exactly. Uh, let's try a Shadow Ball, see how well that works. Ampharos, same thing. Uh, that did slightly worse. Nye, 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 don't. Not Ampharos. Damn. Oh, well, at least Ampharos is still there. Oh, crap. That means, probably means Illumise is going to cover. Silver Wind, like a few other moves, has a chance of boosting every single stack. Crap, there goes Ampharos. Damn it. Okay, well, I have Quilava with me. Might as well use him. Mistrevit. Um, this would be easy. Um, uh, Mistrevis, you take down Illumise. Quilava, you aim at Ariados. Crap, crap, crap. Well, wait, no. Shockwave is just always hit. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. And bye-bye, Ariados. XP, XP, yay. Your next Pokemon, Gloom. Interesting that her partner has a Shadow Pokemon, but she doesn't. Oh, well. Illumise down! And more XP, yay. Okay. Easy victory. 
Relatively. Sort of. Kind of. Critical hit! Yes! Boom! Down! Mr. Fizz is almost at another level. Yay! And we just beat Dogger. Yay! Money! Yay! I'm saying yay a lot. Yay! And they run away. And we can't open that, so... Can't really do much about that now, can we? So... I've just kind of been recording this for a while now. Just editing my other thing while leaving the game up. Yeah, smart thing to do. So I'm going to save real quick, and I'm going to get back to you guys. Okay, that's taken care of. So, what am I doing up here, you may be wondering. Well, remember when I said that I'd be taking care of all the trainers off screen? Well, I'm going to do that except this guy. Now, he actually gives some very important information. On top of that, he has some interesting Pokemon. So according to him, Lady Venus is distributing Shadow Pokemon exactly how Mirror B did. She's using winners of the Colosseum to distribute Shadow Pokemon. The only real difference between her and Mirror B was that Mirror B had to go through duking to get through to the Colosseum. Lady Venus already controls the under. She has it entirely within her grasp. So, she's able to do this a lot more freely. So, what kind of Pokemon would he have in which he could possibly win at a Colosseum? A Magikarp and a Feebas. Yeah, really, that's his strategy. He was going to beat the Colosseum using these Pokemon. You think he's going to win? Doubtful. Okay, so let's go with that. Ampharos, you take down Feebas. And... Ah, dang it. Close. I mean, look at that. Just pathetically weak, and it even paralyzes itself. And he's gonna keep on attacking Ampharos. Great. How dare you attack Ampharos! Feebas down. That easy. Now what's his third Pokemon? Oh wait, Lord. I mean, just look at that. He has two pathetically weak Pokemon. And then a Wailord. Look at that size of that thing! Compared to us and our Pokemon. I mean, really? How does he have two weak Pokemon and then a Wailord? Maybe he's just trying to train them so that he'll have a Milotic and Gyarados. I don't know. But... <laughs> Still, it's amazing how that works. I mean... Shadow Ball usually t covers the entire Pokemon when it's used. It barely got across Waylord's face. Really? How does that even work? Oh crap. Mm. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't half bad either. And down goes Magikarp. Yay! Weak fish down. And didn't even give Mischievous enough XP to level up. I mean, look at the XP bar. You'd think Mischievous would get a level. And why did I use Thundershock? Oh well. I'm sure Thundershock will be able to take down Wailord. And... But yeah, it will definitely take care of it now. Strength. 
Yeah! You don't know ghost types. And Waylord is down. Yeah. And a crap ton of XP is ours. And Mischievous got a level. Yay. So we beat Gurks. You'll never become the champ of a magic car, that's for sure. So, we know Lady Venus's plan. Apparently, they don't have any better ideas of how to distribute shadow Pokemon other than Colosseums. I mean, really. You think they'd come up with something more original? Now, you might be wondering, well, why don't we enter the Colosseum match exactly like we did with Mirror B? If you do that, you're going to get your butt kicked because the Pokemon there are about, I think, level 50. No, instead, Silva gave us an interesting key right to Lady Venus herself. The R-Disc. We're gonna use the UFO that's here in the under to reach Lady Venus. So by heading over to the right, we come across a building. Inside this building is Lady Venus's studio. That's right. No series upon series of trainers. No gauntlet to go through. We get to face off against Lady Venus right here, right now. And by right here, right now, I mean next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. So until then, everyone, take care. <laughs>